It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. This week, starring Leslie Carrara Rudolph and Chuck McCann as Dr. Floyd's mother and father. When we last left our heroes, they had returned to Subtle River City to the Floyd family home. They were summoned to the home by Dr. Floyd's mother, who had shocked the crew with the stunning news of the return of Dr. Floyd's father. They were now standing at the front door of the house after just having knocked. <gasps> Why, you're home! Hi, Mom. How's my little puddin'? <laughs> puddin'. Dr. Grant, I'm in no mood. I'm fine, Mommy. Oh, Dr. Grant, it is so good to see you. Oh, and you brought your little puppy Chips along again, too. <laughs> what a good puppy. Speak. Come on, speak. Uh, actually, Mrs. Floyd, I'm... Good puppy. Here's a puppy tree. <laughs> Isn't it just wonderful that your father is home? I guess. Well, come on inside. Your father will be up from his nap soon. He came all the way from the Congo this morning, you know. Oh, he was bushed. <laughs> He'll be so excited to see you. Yeah, I bet. Well, come on along. Hey, Chips, why is she perpetually under the assumption that you're a dog? Oh, I haven't the foggiest, Dr. Grump. I surely don't need another one of those biscuits shoved into my speaker slot. Thank you very much. As our heroes go in to meet Dr. Floyd's father, let's check in on that evil mastermind, Dr. Steve, and his sock-shaped assistant, Fidget, who have just landed down the street from the Floyd family home. All right, now here's the plan, Fidget. First, you'll put on this crudely made delivery man outfit. Uh-huh. Then, you're going to go deliver this package to Dr. Floyd. Uh-huh. Then, when he reaches out for it, you'll push this button on the side. Yeah, and then... That's it. That's all you have to do. Uh-huh. How are you Well, the box expands and captures anyone who's touching it in an escape-proof prison on wheels. I got it from prisonsinabox.com. Uh-huh, and then what are we Well, then I will come and roll the prison back to the ship and take Dr. Floyd back to my secret lair. You will not be able to do anything after that point. Uh-huh. Because you'll be trapped in the box, obviously. Huh? Look, when you push the button, it's going to activate the box, and whoever's touching it gets trapped inside the prison. That includes the person who pushed the button. What are you talking about? I know what I'm saying. Yeah, look, I don't have time to argue about this. We'll discuss it later when I get you out of the box. Now get out there and put my plan into action. Oh no, Dr. Steve has enacted a plan to kidnap Dr. Floyd. Meanwhile, our unsuspecting hero is currently sitting in the living room of his family home, watching his mother's Pomeranian puppy, Mr. Beardy Chins, do tricks. Sit. Sit. Now stay. Stay. Okay, come here. Good boy. Yes, you are. Yeah, the depth of his talent knows no bounds. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Oh, dear, you're awake. Yes, I feel like a million ducats. And what a spectacular welcoming committee I have to welcome me home. Hello there, everyone. I'm Doc. Dr. Floyd J. Floyd Sr. Honey, this is Dr. Grant. It is a pleasure to meet you, sir. The pleasure's all mine. Put it there, pal. Yeah, quite a grip you've got there, Dr. Floyd Sr., sir. <laughs> and this is Dr. Grant's little puppy, Chips. Yes, I- I'm not actually a... Cute dog. Here, have a puppy treat. <laughs> and where is my boy? Hi, Dad. Son! Come here. Give your father a hug, laddie. Oh, easy, Dad. Put me down. Losing consciousness. Hey, sorry, laddie. Oh, thanks. I was just so excited to see you, that's all. <laughs> it's been a while, eh? Yeah, a long while. I'll get it. You two keep talking. Look, Floyd, I know I haven't been around in a long time. I'm sure you're upset about that, but I want to make sure that we get caught up on this visit, all right? Really? You mean it, Dad? I sure do, son. I want to take it nice and slow. I know you want every detail about how I uncovered a lost city in the heart of the Congo, and when I'm done telling you about that, it'll be time for me to head out on another adventure. Oh, I see. Hey, there's a crudely disguised delivery guy at the door with a package for Dr. Floyd. Oh, that that must must be be for for me. me. As Mrs. Floyd ushers Dr. Grant and Chips into the kitchen to help make some lunch, both Dr. Floyd and his father, Dr. Floyd Sr., head down the hallway to the front door. That's me. Both Dr. Floyd's Jr. and Sr. reach out for the box. They touch it at the exact same moment, and as they do, the perplexed Fissure pushes the button on the side, instantly engulfing the three of them in an escape-proof prison on wheels. Moments later, our villain, Dr. Steve, is pushing the rolling prison down the street to his ship. Fidget? Fidget, can you hear me? Did we catch Dr. Floyd? 
Farther? What do you mean farther? Oh, wait, I, I misunderstood you. No, 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 it's not much farther. We're almost there. Dr. Steve is almost to his ship with our hero and his father. What diabolical plan could Dr. Steve have in store for Dr. Floyd? How will he react when he finds out that he not only has Dr. Floyd, but Dr. Floyd's father as well? And just how is Fidget getting along with the doctors while trapped inside that box? Dad, this is Fidget. Fidget, this is my dad. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Find out next time on the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. <laughs>